several times in each chapter we see how helpless krishna is we find weakness lording over strength exactly because it is weak shrimad bhagavad gita is an epic struggle and krishna is the struggler it 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 all tugs at your heart strings it's actually a song as much of melancholy as of wisdom that's the reason i love the gita good evening sir i am krishna and i am a student of town planning and i would like to ask about casteism so there's an age old debate about castes in india where some people say that it is an embodiment of systematic exploitation while others say it is just a division of labor that got corrupted with time so you have spoken previously about true meaning of caste based upon upanishads so what are your views right now about the indian caste system does not depend what criteria you use to divide man from man it is bogus full stop even if you need to have division of labor why does that have to be from birth how is birth a criteria to decide who will pursue what kind of vocation hmm? how is it guaranteed that someone born to an iron smith would be great with metals or that someone born to a family of priests would indeed be a wise person uh, so all that is quite bogus doesn't matter uh, how you want to interpret it or justify it just leave it to the history and museums now it's outlived mm, its utility if ever there was any i i really don't think there ever was any utility it's just an expression the caste system is just an expression of the tendency of the ego to divide because the ego is a limited thing and all limits mean boundaries the ego therefore cannot live without boundaries it needs to find some way one way after the other to divide one uh, uh, person from the other the criteria could be anything gender is a criteria obviously money is a criteria economic status color of the skin um, ethnicity and race and creed um, you name it and it becomes a dividing line so and that is also the reason you see you don't find uh, this kind of casteism only in uh, um, uh, hinduism most people because they are not uh, very acquainted with uh, how the society is working do not know that even in muslims there is a rigorous caste system uh, so so it's it's there everywhere look at the divisions in christianity yeah, obviously there you don't have untouchability and stuff but look at the divisions and look at the violence hmm? look at how that thing exists even in the streams that emerged uh, with a view to purge hinduism of its uh, corruption think of sikhism think of buddhism what do you think you don't have caste distinctions there then you do not know how uh, the societies are operating so yes obviously uh, no point denying that it's uh, the most rampant in hinduism uh, to the point that it in, in fact became a distinctive feature of hinduism nobody wants to deny that when i give the example of how caste operates or how divisions operate in other religions it's just to just to uh, exemplify that the ego loves to divide irrespective of uh, where the egoistic mind is stationed the mind could be stationed in saudi arabia or in europe or in russia or in china or in sri lanka it's going to divide 
divide on some possible criteria. So, I don't know why we still have a debate over caste. That's what is quite astounding. Caste should have uh, been relegated to the museums and the history books by now. It should have become a non-issue. Uh, what's interesting is who are the people who still keep it alive as an issue? And what do they want? Hmm? So, it's a relic. It's a, no, no place. You should not even know somebody's caste. That's what. That's how caste disappears. As long as you are interested in somebody's caste. What's your caste by the way? Ah. Huh? If I am interested, then I am casteist. Hmm? Caste goes when you do not even know the other's caste. And that's how the society must be. You meet someone, that, that person is standing in front of him, in front of you, assess him. The person who could be good, bad, uh, virtuous, ill, evil, whatever. The person is right there in front of you. Why do you need to know his caste? Huh? The person is sufficient, is he not? Yes, sir. If, if he is sick, you, you want to help him. Or would you ask for his caste? No. Huh? And if he is arrogant, you want to show him his place. You don't want to inquire into his caste. Getting it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand. Huh? Closer to your age. There is a beautiful girl and she is beautiful and, and uh, uh, she appears intelligent also in many uh, ways. She is someone you want to approach and you approach her and the first thing you ask is, eh, what's your jat? How do you sound? Who are you? What kind of beastly question is this? So, uh, it's a non-issue. It's a non-issue and those who are still keeping this issue burning, they should be brought to justice. What's the point? What's the point? Why are you still interested in, in raising this again and again? Why this bogey? Hmm? You, you will never have uh, a complete absence of duffers, you see. Even, I suppose, after 100 years from today, you will continue to have people who believe in things like purity of blood. They will say, we have this kind of blood, Falana blood, and therefore we cannot marry into some other caste or something. The blood will become impure. Hmm? Covid came to teach them what blood really is. Or a road accident, the best teacher. When you require immediate blood transfusion, do you inquire into the cast of the blood donor? You will die. And then you, in fact, do not. Because you know in your own heart that all this is just sham. And your son is dying. And you say, please, 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 get me be positive. You do not say, oh, I want only Brahmin or Kayast or Rajput be positive. You don't do that. Or do you do that? No. Then all these notions of superiority and purity of blood, they just vanish. The thing is, we all are people of mixed blood now. Think of your own lineage. Somebody in your line must have had a blood transfusion at some point in time. Either your father or grandfather or somebody. So you have mixed blood. So have I. Everybody has mixed blood. So, caste is gone anyway. Finished. Even if you go to the scriptures, they are very clear. Very clear. Jayate Shudra. The one who takes birth is Shudra. The meaning is very clear. The body is Shudra. So, there is no difference at the time of birth. Only the beast is born. And then depending on how you navigate through life, the kind of choices you make, huh? 
द स्टेटस ऑफ योर कॉन्शियसनेस इज डिटर्मेंट हाउ कैन कास्ट बी समथिंग दैट कम्स बाय बर्थ नो एंड यू हैव ऑलरेडी सेट दैट आई हैव स्पोकन ऑन इट यस एन एंटायर उपनिषद इज डिवोटेड टू दिस वज्र सूचिका उपनिषद द स्टूडेंट इज आस्किंग द ऋषि वॉट इज कास्ट एंड द ऋषि इन द वे ऑफ द उपनिषद the the rishis were very fun loving people they loved to kind of toy with the disciples they said please tell me does the body have caste okay does the blood have caste does the bone have caste what has caste and the disciple is intrigued he said no 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 all these things cannot have caste because these are just panchbhut how can that have caste this is just soil how can soil have caste okay okay fine so does uh, the pure self atma have caste and this is upanishad this is vedant does the atma have caste the rishis and the disciple is again is the atma is not even born sir how can it have caste the atma has no name no form no shape no upadhi no upma how can it have caste no attributes how can it have caste she says don't you understand then what is caste caste is an imagination of the mind caste is neither in the body nor in the self it is just in the mind it's an imagination of the mind it's a mental construct it's a man made thing it's a man made thing that i doubt ever had any utility and even if it had some dubious utility at some point it has long outlived its utility drop it drop it right now full stop Hmm? but to drop it you will need to have self knowledge you will need to understand why you held on to it in the first place to drop something you must first of all know why you were clinching at it for so long hmm? caste didn't come to us we kept clutching at caste didn't we so why did we do that you have to realize you have to go into yourself you have to understand how the mind functions you have to understand the ways of the ego and then you will know how things like caste survive the more you understand the nature of the mind the more spontaneously stupidities like caste will drop and what's more not only will you drop caste you will drop several other stupidities as well i'll tell you the man who believes in caste is also the man who believes in thousand other stupidities because they belong to the same family for example it is very difficult to be casteist and not ritualistic the man who will be casteist will most probably be ritualistic as well so these stupidities go together For example, it's very difficult to be casteist and not superstitious. The man who will be casteist will also be superstitious. It's very difficult to be casteist and not violent. The casteist man will be violent as well. So when you drop caste, you find all these other things are dropping as well, and they'll be dropped only when the center that holds them together is dropped. That center is called ignorance of the self. When the inner ignorance is dropped. then all these stupidities they all are together in one basket and they go together in one basket is it making sense yes sir yes sir so like understood is it because of your caste that this thing is making sense uh no sir did i speak to your caste Uh, no sir it is because of my study i am a town planner so sociology becomes one of the most important things to study so this comes really so so when when you were studying me that is when you were listening to my words were you listening to my caste no sir okay good so that's who both of us are yes consciousness attentiveness ha huh? that's what vedant teaches us ha huh? bodh is our nature caste etc the rishis don't even bother to speak too much on them once in a while they speak on these things just to denounce them repudiate them negate them so don't think that caste comes uh, from uh, from uh, spiritual philosophy either no caste is a social construct 
Deep spirituality has nothing to do with caste. It does not have anything to do with even your body. Hmm? You go to Vedanta, you are told you are not even the body. If you are not even the body, how can you have a caste? So that's another thing. Those who are victims of caste oppression, they start hitting all the scriptures. And I keep telling them, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Yes, I understand. There are certain books that promoted the caste culture. But those books are not at all central to religion. And they are not at all to be counted as spiritual. So keep those books apart. Go to the real books. Go to the real spiritual philosophy. Hmm? And that's the reason why I love Vedanta so much. Vedanta has no space for all this nonsense. Anything left to ask? Hmm? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.